Movie Insight recapped here today we will talk about in 2008 American action comedy film called, You Don't Mess With The Zohan As We Start The Film, we see Zohan walking through a crowd on the beach, and he plays multiple games with some of the beachgoers, and even a wild bull later. Zohan and his friend Danny are having a cookout with some beautiful women, the food is served. But everything is interrupted by the military as Zohan is summoned for a mission, much to his displeasure, he leaves and is brought to a military base to have a debriefing on a terrorist known as Phantom, Zohan asks how the Phantom escaped, since Zohan had arrested him three months prior, he is informed that Phantom was traded to get back some of their own spies, later that evening, Zohan gears up for the mission but also pulls out a book detailing different hairstyle fashions and begins to look through it at dinner. His mother asks what is wrong with him, Zohan asks what his parents would think about him leaving the army for a new life, both Zohan's parents laugh at the idea, telling him to play things safe and stay with the army, Zohan confides he wants to be a hairstylist, but his parents simply break out into laughters and make fun of his dream, the next day, the mission begins, and he infiltrates Phantom's hideout. Taking down the armed guards around the property, Zohan eventually reaches Phantom. But Phantom makes a quick escape out a window, Zohan sprints after Phantom, who speeds away on a jet ski, Zohan immediately takes to the water, and swims mightily after Phantom, Zohan catches up to Phantom and disables the jet ski, Phantom then takes a passerby's kayak and attacks Zohan with the paddle, they then argue about their toughness and attempt to one-up each other in proving this, they then play ping pong with a deadly weapon and it eventually explodes, Zohan disappears, leaving only his swim trunks and Phantom claims them for his victory. However, Zohan is indeed alive and swims away underwater, he flies to America, stowing away in a dog kennel, he makes conversation with two cute dogs, claiming that the fighting in his country will never end during the flight, he disguises himself using his hairstyling skills and upon landing, he escapes into the airport crowd, Zohan takes a taxi to go to the Paul Mitchell Hair Salon in New York. He arrives at the salon and is in awe of what he beholds, later, he introduces himself, and asks to see Paul Mitchell about a job, he is told Paul isn't available and is made fun of for his outdated hairstyle, disappointed, he jumps on top of a car and rides it down the street, Zohan comes across a car accident in which a cyclist, Michael, was also involved, Zohan approaches the scene and confronts one of the angry drivers, Zohan ends up subduing the man with martial arts, and even fixes the other driver's vehicle with a single punch, Michael tries to find out where Zohan is from, but Zohan lies to him about it, later that evening, Zohan has dinner with Michael and his mother, Gail, afterwards, the duo go out to a club in the city to have a good time, Zohan tries to give Michael advice on how to interact with women, then goes to the DJ to play some music to set the mood while having fun with the DJing, Zohan gets recognized by Uri, who is a huge fan of Zohan. But Zohan explains to Uri exactly why he left all the fighting back home and denies his own identity. Later, Zohan makes his way down to Uri's store, Uri then introduces Zohan to Yossi, and Zohan asks Uri for a job at his electronics store, Uri denies him a job stating that Zohan has to chase his dreams instead of settling for less, Uri then points Zohan to a nearby salon who would offer him employment, Uri also mentions the salon is owned by Palestinians, and Zohan immediately refuses the recommendation, Uri also shows Zohan that Phantom is successful and doing well back in their home country, even owning a restaurant, Uri continues to push Zohan to apply for a job at the nearby salon, and so Zohan eventually goes over to see about a position, dancing his way across the street, Zohan meets salon owner Dahlia, Dahlia questions Zohan's lack of experience in hairstyling, so he goes to perform some of his other skills to convince her, yet she isn't persuaded, she eventually caves in and allows him to work part-time sweeping up hair, Zohan begins his work and fully commits to the perfection of his hair sweeping employment, he practices his hairdressing in the evenings with Gail and even Michael, some time later, Dahlia asks to speak to Zohan in private about disturbing some of the stylists while they work during the evening, one of the hairstylists, Claude, shows Zohan some styling techniques, and Zohan even takes a night job as a cab driver to make ends meet. The next day, Zohan tries to make small talk and compliment some of the women who have come to get their hair done, but fails spectacularly, Dahlia grabs him aside to correct him on how he talks to the customers, reminding him to respect the workplace later on. 
the salon gets a call that one of the stylists has quit. Claude confesses this is due to the new rent prices and job uncertainty. Zohan takes the opportunity to volunteer to fill the vacant position. Dahlia doesn't want Zohan to mess things up, but Zohan insists he is the best solution. For her problems, a customer rushes Dahlia for her turn and asks for Zohan instead. He seizes this chance by showering lots of compliments and his unique way of styling. The customer is extremely satisfied with Zohan's styling, and even other customers begin to take notice soon. The lines are out the door at the salon for Zohan as his popularity soars with the customers in the city. Even Paul Mitchell himself calls Zohan to offer employment, but Zohan turns him down. Zohan also tries to give advice to Claude on how to pick up some of the customers that come to the salon. Claude is hesitant, but joins in on Zohan's advice outside. Salim, a Palestinian taxi driver, pulls up to drop off some women at the salon, he instantly recognizes Zohan through a flashback when Salim and Zohan were in the military, Salim threw a sandal at Zohan's back so Zohan punched him and took his goat ever since. Salim bears a grudge against Zohan, Salim drives away, and meets with some of his friends Nasi and Hamdi, exposing Zohan's identity later on. Salim sends Nasi into Dahlia's salon to investigate Zohan. Nasi is charmed by Zohan and ends up leaving quite late. Nasi reports back to Salim that Zohan was super cool, but is unsure about him as a special agent. Salim is adamant that he knows Zohan's true identity later. Salim. Nasi and Hamdi try to formulate a plan to capture Zohan, they go to a local pharmacy to gather materials needed to make a weapon but end up with the wrong items, meanwhile, Dahlia deals with the ongoing rent issue, and vows to keep working even with the water shut off, Dahlia is informed that the new building owner, Mr. Walridge wants to relocate Dahlia's salon into his new mall he plans to build, after the confrontation, Zohan realizes his true feelings for Dahlia and confesses to her, upon closing time at the salon, Salim attacks the salon with his misused weapon when Zohan leaves the shop, Nasi tries to tell Salim that it wasn't the weapon Salim thought it to be, but Salim will hear none of it, at dinner, Uri suggests that maybe someone is out to get Zohan, Almost revealing Zohan's true identity, Michael volunteers to look for clues as part of the community night watch. Uri volunteers Zohan to take Michael's shift, and Zohan agrees to go during the patrol. Fellow community watchman Kevin expresses his fear of something going wrong with the patrol. Zohan spots some hooligans spray painting the salon and orders them to stop. The hooligans threaten Zohan and Kevin, but he easily beats them up. To Kevin's amazement, the next day, Waldridge is upset that the hooligans they hired got beat by Zohan. Waldridge wants things sped up to build his mall, but his employees state the shop owners to be difficult to persuade. Waldridge is furious and threatens to fire them if they can't get the job done. Meanwhile, Waldridge hires some goons to help get rid of the neighborhood shop owners, they accept his offer, and express their distaste at certain laws in America, Salim and his friends try to find Phantom by locating his restaurant, Salim dials the number and asks to speak to Phantom, Phantom finally answers and Salim informs him that Zohan is alive, Salim sends Phantom a photo as proof, and they negotiate a reward for Salim to keep the information to him, after a questionably successful negotiation, Salim and his friends celebrate, later on, Zohan offers some friends tickets to a hacky sack match that Walridge has given him, Uri pulls Zohan aside to show him that Phantom will be coming to the match for Zohan and exposing his identity, Phantom readies and trains himself for the big fight, while Zohan reveals his identity to Michael and Gail, later that night, Zohan confesses to Dahlia, but she rejects him once she finds out the truth, and she asks him to leave, before he leaves, she gives him a new hairstyle book across the city, Zohan assembles a team to take down Phantom at the match, Walridge gives an introduction, and Mariah Carey sings the national anthem, the game begins and Phantom goes to introduce himself to Mariah, suddenly, Zohan swoops in and they begin to fight, Zohan gets a call from Michael. Michael tells him Walridge's goons are vandalizing the salon, Zohan abandons the fight and races to save the salon, upon arrival, it is found that all the Palestinian and Israeli shops have been vandalized and burned, and Phantom goes to save the shops, Zohan rushes to help Phantom by quelling the fire with hummus, Phantom asks why Zohan helped him and Zohan states he is done with fighting, Phantom attacks Zohan multiple times but Zohan refuses to lift a finger, Phantom can't understand why Zohan won't fight, and Dahlia appears and explains that Zohan has changed, 
and reveals Phantom is her brother. Dahlia expresses her love for Zohan and Phantom is mortified and Dahlia explains that there is no reason for all the hate or fighting, they all find common ground and Zohan even apologizes to Selim for taking away Selim's goat. Zohan spots the goons responsible for the damage and realizes Walridge is behind everything. Zohan and Phantom go to stop the goons and Phantom reveals he always wanted to go to America and be a shoe salesman, they find a lot in common in each other's dreams and go to defeat the goons together using marital arts and the sound, Walridge arrives and is immediately arrested, some time later, a new mall opens up and everyone is happy, Phantom has his shoe shop, Salim sells goat rides, and Zohan is thriving in a brand new salon, like and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications, that